I just pulled up to Adam's house. Uh, we're going to the J. Cole concert tonight. Got very nice, sweet tickets. Pretty excited. Got my uh, nice Dreamville shirt on. So we're going to go. Going to pick him up and have a good time. Dang, wow. is it golden hour or what? <laughs> it's cool, man. Jimmy Buffett. And nobody ever showed you how to deal with your shit and get this shit off you. So before you know it, before you know it, you're 30 years old. And you got all this shit, even more shit from your 20s now that you carry around. Nobody ever showed you how to get this shit out. And every day, Salt Lake City, people die. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, people die. Without ever having, ever having faced they shit. They never even knew they was I just dropped Adam off and I'm heading home. It's about 12.30 right now. The concert was incredible. Just wanted to tell a quick story. So if you guys, I'll show the picture, but there's a picture of, uh, if you saw the tweet, it's me and I tweeted at Royce O'Neill. I said, hey Royce, uh, I'm in the suite next to you. Can I get a picture? And he tweets back at me like not even a minute later. He says, after the, after the, he says like after my guy with the, like this thing emoji and so I was like oh bet okay and so like the time goes on and on concert goes and passes and so I'm looking at him I do like the thing like I point my phone I'm like picture you know like universally speaking through the glass because there's a glass dividing the two suites and he just like gives me the head nod kind of thing and so we go and we head out and then there's some security guard guy there and he's talking he's like I need you guys to go I need you guys to move and I was like Royce O'Neal is coming out to take a picture with us and he's like I know I need you guys to move you need to step back and I'm like no really he's gonna come and take a picture with us he said on Twitter that he would before this and he's coming out to take a picture with us so we sat there and I'm like arguing with the security guard for like a whole entire minute about Royce O'Neal coming out or not. And I was like, can I show you the tweet? It's right here, it's his verified account. I mean, please, he said he would. We talked about it, please, please. And he keeps on telling me, no, no. And so then he like has his microphone on and he calls uh, up to the managers of the Vimin Arena and his name is Steve Starks or something like that. He calls, like, he, says, hey, he says, hey Steve, we got a problem here. And so that's when I was like, oh balls, we're really not gonna get this picture. And then. Royce O'Neal just walks out and he tells the guys like it's cool it's cool so he goes all right guys quick pick quick and so we hop in we get the pick and we get it done but it was just like that close to not getting the picture with Royce O'Neal and then luckily uh it was in between Jaden Smith and J. Cole me and Adam went out and we started walking around and we were just like looking around and seeing what there is to see around some of the suites and as we're walking back the same security guard he uh, goes and he says, excuse me, fellas. And so I turn around and I go around and say, I'm sorry that like, just, you know, like someone taps on you and says, excuse me, you just turn around and say, sorry. So I turn around and say, sorry. And I look, and I see the security guard and I look to the right or the left and I just see like shoulder and neck and I track my eyes up and I'm staring at Rudy Gobert. And so I'm like, Rudy Gobert, no way, can we get a pick? And he says, yeah, one quick pick. So we take the pick. And we only had one try, so me, Adam, and Rudy all look stupid in it. But, I mean, the concert was amazing. We got our picks. I fought a security guard, and it was probably one of the best nights of my life. So, you know, there will be some pictures and some videos that you guys have already seen, because I'll put that before that, before this. But, yeah, that's the uh, KOD tour. It was pretty cool.